You have the Book of Mormon, Joseph Smith. Yes, he said exactly. he saw an angel. Yeah, yeah, he had yeah. many wives. Yeah. He read the Bible yeah, again. Yeah, why, why, okay, why don't you then accept him as the newest, newest? Because you said the Quran was the newest. Bring me an alternative script, manuscript that outright contradicts the message. All it's based on is hearsay. You have to, because a liar cannot prove their case. He came to me and accused me of being insincere and asked me about the name Isa. Now I said, let's debate it. He's saying, let's talk about the Trinity. Why isn't he then continuing to debate on what he approached me about? He's insincere because he knows I'll destroy his arguments. Understandable. Yeah, I'm a fair man. Yeah. Yeah. That's the answer. Yeah. Do you know what I said to me? You said the process, but I'm just clarifying. Yeah. Yeah. You're in the process of telling him. Why do you have to make things complicated? I don't think you know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, wait, no, no, you were calling me. So that's why I think everyone went, oh, You're in the process. I know you're a logical guy. You're in the process of saying you're trying to do this. And then you mentioned that. So that's why you talk to try to make Obviously, someone would jump to the conclusion that you're trying to say that. But on the other hand, though, on the other hand, yeah. Whether if he's now like I said, you should ask him, do you mean yes. that in a bad way? JC is there on purpose, JC. Wake up. But JC is there on purpose. Look, look. But this is the thing. So he's yeah. changing topic. But this is the thing. I told him 15 minutes. I said to him 15 minutes. Call me paper. If he says, oh, what's his name? Toilet paper. Where did, yeah, but you're saying, but why did he get the name toilet paper? People call him Mansoor. Should I start calling him Mansoor and be like, oh, is your name Mansoor? That's what he's going to say. He's going to say no. What, what was the evidence? What were the evidence? Exactly. But he's, he's clearly lowered the standard. I've approached him. That could be. What was it? The one you said. You see, this guy but the thing is, this guy. I'm not interested. About Please, who's paper boy? I'm not interested. Paper boy or whatever. Who was that? Paper boy. Paper boy. He's Esbo. What do you call him? Are you are talking about paper boys, right? No, he's Esbo. Don't you get it? <laughs> A name, okay, we're gonna frame up now. So, a name, that's why so, I'm asking you. If he comes, we'll debate on uh, Isa because you see, he, no, he, he keeps cutting me off. No, no, no. Why no, don't no. you address you see, the issue? He doesn't want to debate on a real I mean, topic. You see, a real topic. He came to me, ask you, he came to me and accused me of being oh, insincere Mansoor, and asked me about the name Isa. Now I said, let's debate it. He's saying, let's talk about the Trinity. He's the one who reads. And now come in to debate about your hairstyle. He's running away. Look at the level. Yeah, if he comes back and yeah, debates me about Issa, that's fine. He approached me. I was standing here. It's, it's on video because um, he was obviously talking to um, the DCCI people. I was standing here and he said these visionaries, they're insincere. Like this one. And so he's brought, he's brought the argument to me. So I say if he Mantle's not a coward, come back and finish the debate about Issa. But he's running away. He has no integrity. He accuses other people. See you later, Ashbo. All right. See you later, Ashbo. This is a man of no integrity. I was standing so here, now, as you realize, and he's, he, he, he I was standing here, yeah. and he, the name he, he I was standing here, and he accused me of something. I said, let's debate the subject. So now, then he's saying, let's now. debate the Trinity. Why isn't he then continuing to debate on what he approached me about? He's insincere because he knows I'll destroy his arguments. Ignore, ignore. If he's diverting, ignore that. You just start to redirect the conversation to uh, where you want. Because at the end of the day, if you That's approach we need me to about benefit, science, honestly, we need to benefit from the exchange. Of course, I don't mind discussing. Okay. You, anyone can go on um, SC Dawa. Last week, I approached him yeah. and I had a sincere conversation because he did something I didn't like. But I didn't like, scream at him. I said, yeah. but he would insult people. He accuses other people of no integrity. But he has no integrity himself. Yeah, he, he can't even debate on the subject that you guys, people talk. You guys have been talking for a long time. I don't even know what your beliefs are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, I don't even know if you're yeah, that's Muslim fine. or yeah, yeah. No, anything like that. It's a shame. Because yeah. I think we need to know where you come from. We're talking about his name. His name as well. I don't know his name. I don't know what he's defending. Well, the thing is, to redirect the source. But that's what I want. I said to him, let's debate on this subject. He made his point. And, and he tried to bounce him. because he knows You're if I address his point, I will refute all his points. He's like the Scarlet Pimpernickel, like an eel. You try and pin him down, 
and they, they won't let you because that's I'm that's trying to make my point for everyone to hear exactly. and that's decide that's he's cutting me off exactly but you see every time he runs away because he knows I can I know the argumentation he's going to bring and I will refute it but he can only do a, you know, a quick hit and run away so why if you're going to run away why would you approach me about a subject and then not let me that's, that's refute what you just said but you then you run away and say let's talk about something more important like the trinity actually the name of jesus is important because if the quran gets it wrong we have to understand why did the quran get it wrong and where did this name come from so that it's a very important theological re reason behind it because in the bible the name jesus or yeshua has a very significant meaning so if this is a mistake in the quran we need to then talk about it. But Yeshua means Yahweh saves. If I'm Ye Yeho, Ye Ye Yeho, uh, Shua, Ye Yahweh saves. Yeah, so it's a God. It's God. Yeah, Yahweh is the, the God. Yeah, exactly. So I've asked him where the name Isa came from because that doesn't translate into the Hebrew. It's not even close. So I've had, tried to have a debate with him about it. He said I was insincere. He tried to bring up Josephus and I said let's discuss how this Josephus translated because in the Hebrew you didn't have consonants so any text was written with so you didn't, you didn't have vowelization so any word was written with like consonants so you know what consonants are no so basically a vowel, a vowel is A-E-I-O-U oh, okay, okay. so any other letters like consonants so they did in the Hebrew they would spell words without the, uh, the vowels so when they translate the Hebrew to Greek they translated the word in a certain way so he was saying well there's other certain names that can fit this Greek description and we were trying to discuss how the person who associated the different uh, pronunciations of these names translated them all into the same Greek name and I said it's because there was no vowelization any name that had the same consonants would then be written in Greek with the same words but he wouldn't let me exp explain on that point because there's more to it. It's just the same. It's just it's just and Arabic. It's Isa. Just Ar yeah, it's just Arabic. Isa is not Arabic. Not Ara yeah, yeah, but it's just a translation. Yeah, but yes it means the same thing. No, no, no it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Yeshua exactly means Yahweh saves. No, I get that. I get that. So the reason why I can I, I don't know if you're Muslim or not. So, okay, you had uh, most of his companions. What's your religion, by the way? I'm a Christian. Christian. Yeah, yeah. You're not Israelite. No, no. So, in in the Bible, Jesus had the name same same name as Yeshua bin Nun. That was Moses' companion. But Jesus and this person had the same name. So in your Islamic literature, Moses' companion is also named, but they say his name his name is written as uh, uh, Yasu. It should be uh, Yas 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 Yusa. But Moses. Yeah, Moses' companion, uh, Yeshua bin Nun. So. If in the Bible, Jesus had the same name as uh, Moses' companion, why is it you have Isa and then another name? You have two different names for people who had the same name. So I've, I've asked him, this Arabic, can it be translated back into uh, the Hebrew? And I'll give you an example because people sometimes They're get... probably not, but it's still the same person. Yeah, yeah but that's the thing. The but person. then why, how, because in the Quran, Allah gave the name directly. So how did Allah then give a name that doesn't translate back into the Hebrew? Because 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 Jesus yeah, but Jesus would have had a Hebrew name. So the, any name that Allah gave, so in the Quran, that Arabic name should translate back into the Hebrew, in the Hebrew. So uh, so the one you say Allah, it's yes. like you're referring to a different entity. Well, Allah obviously means God, it means God, and we're talking about the same God here. Well, uh, I, the, Allah means yeah, God. The, Christians in an Arab country. They would call uh, God Allah, right? So, so in terms of Christianity yeah. um, and Islam, yes, you you have the same concept of a of a God, but their their characteristics are totally different. So we do not consider them as being the same same God. So um, I'm just trying to find this example for you. Uh, so which church do you follow? Is it a Catholic church or? Uh, I'm just a Christian. So for example, I'll give you the Arabic and I'll give you the Hebrew. So for example, you have Nu, which is uh, Noah in Hebrew. You have uh, Ishak, which is Yishak in Hebrew. You have Yusuf, which is Yosef. You have Musa, which is Moshe in Hebrew. 
you have Dawood, which is Dawid. So you, if you have Isa, give me the Hebrew. You understand? But I, that's why I've been asking him. Give me the Hebrew because then. But, that, but that's the Arabic. Yes. For, for Yeshua. Just, no, say, because I because I've given you the example yeah. of Moses' companion. Yeah. His name was because uh, in in Arabic his name uh, the name would be uh, I think Yashu. Yeah. So then Isa, he would have been called Isa as well. But you have two different names. One which actually correlates with what we can look at historically and know. So then you have Isa because we don't know the meaning or it should be able to translate back into the Hebrew so I've said you're thinking that Isa means uh, Yeshua but it doesn't and that's the argument I was trying to the discussion I was trying to have with you yeah. so, 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 so what's the uh, what's the Hebrew word for God the Hebrew word for God is El, El. yeah or, so for example that was the original name so when you have Israel El, it is he who contends or he who wrestles with God Gibriel Gibriel so all the names were all had L. They weren't. It didn't have Allah on the end. Understand? Okay. So Allah, 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 yeah. they say Allah, Allah as well. Yeah, it's just a different they way of saying. It. It's just language. I swear, I've been, I've been to a synagogue yes. in the Middle East, I, I yeah. think, and they say uh, God for Allah. They say Allah for God. Sorry. It's not okay. a big deal. Yeah, yeah but but you see, God has different names. God's name is Yahweh. In the beginning, He was called Elohim. So but in translation but, here, but we're not talking about the crux of the problem here. Yeah, but the it main issue. Who's called, who's called person, no, yeah, but person. the thing is, no, no. But you're saying it's the same person, but it's not the same name. There's a the, if there's matter, a mistake. You know, because they share the, the mother's the same name. Yeah, but then how did Allah make a mistake on the name Isa? Because he did. It, I think he did. It's because, about the because same. okay, if his name in Hebrew was Yeshua. Yeah. And in Arabic, it translates to uh, Yasu. Yeah, but in English, it translates to Jesus. Yeah, exactly. and I can show you. So I can. Let me just. Show. So it's different this pronunciation. Is, okay, different. that's the Hebrew. Then it was translated. Uh, so Yeshua, yeah. In the Greek, is because they didn't have some of the vowels, so it became Yesus. Then it was translated to Latin. And in, uh, in Old English, you didn't have a J. When the J came, it's just the Latin pronunciation. That's how we got Jesus. So Jesus is not a direct translation of, of his Hebrew name. Did you see the but steps? We, yeah, exactly. That's why I've asked him, where did Isa come from? Because it's not a direct translation from the Arab, from the, from the Hebrew. So if this, and that's what I'm trying to, that's why he keeps running away. It's a simple, it's a simple thing. Fine, but they're still talking about the same person. But then if Alan made him, if it's a historical mistake about the name of the person. If it's a historical mistake, why is Allah making historical mistakes? It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a mistake. There's probably, then there's probably I, a reason why. Exactly. And that's why I'm asking. Is, that's why I'm asking him. Where is he? He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why when I try and pin him down on it, he tried to change his topic to the Trinity. But he approached me about the name, saying, "Oh, about Josephus and whatnot." But the problem is, I don't need to rely on just Josephus because you have in Jewish tradition, which was independent of Christian tradition, his name was uh, referred to as Yeshua. Then you have Syriac tradition, which is uh, Middle Aramaic, which is actually the language close to the language Jesus would have spoken to. Translated, called him uh, Yeshua. Where did they get the name from? They got independent of the Christian, like the Roman Christians, and the, the Jews. So how is it? You have all these different traditions coming with the same version of this name, but then 600 years later, this name sounds someone, exactly. So we have to establish because. We can either be here for religion, or we can be here for truth. You understand? If you want to follow Islam as a religion, fair enough. But if, you, if you're worshipping God because you believe God is true, then you want to know the truth about this God. So anything we look in your text about, we should be able to establish that it, will, it will lined up historically. If it's not, then why you, you know, if you want to follow the truth, then you need to reject this book. I get what you're saying. For example, just one other point, like the name Injil. Where did the name Injil come from? It came from the Greek. Because the Greek Gospels is called the Evangelion. Injil. So why is Allah, if he gave, uh, you know, it says each prophet was sent to the nation to speak in their language. So why is Allah, for example, given Jesus an Injil in Greek? So was Jesus speaking in Greek? Because why is he giving him the Injil, which is from the Greek word. Why is he used that word? Like, exactly. So these well, are things the logically is, uh, you yeah, have to okay. then. Allah is talking to uh, Saudi Arabia yes. of the uh, seventh century. That's fine. So he's just trying to make things clear to yes. the people he's but talking the in to. But the Injil so comes from Evangelium, which means good news. 
there is an Arabic word for good news. If you want to really be specific, you don't have to take the word good news from the Greek. Maybe that's Why? the word they were using as well at the same time. And it's a synonym. I don't know, man. But Alice you has really not picking. No, a big deal. There's a saying: there's, the yeah. devil is in the detail. Doesn't make a big difference. You understand? If this is an yeah. eternal book from Allah, there should be. What does it say? There should be no contradictions, no errors. So then you have to test the, test this book to see whether it is from God, yeah, but because it, it shouldn't really change the context. That word is not massively different. Again, really. it's not. Yeah, but it's not that much of a big deal. I'm saying if there's a, if, if he was given something called the Injil yeah. from the Greek. Why is he Allah taken from the Greek rather than Allah knows all languages? He should know what it was in the language it was given, not from a deriv deriv derivation of something. He knows, he knows, but the point is Again, that's why I say, do you want to follow religion or truth? Because everything should align to truth. What did he say about this? What, what you need to read yes. and understand and take from it is yes. what he's saying. Okay. Okay. Not, not what word he chose to, but then to if, describe if you're saying, but how do you know it's coming? But how do you know if it's coming from God? You have to test the book. So you have to look at the whole book in context okay. and the whole message yeah. behind it. So how would you know it's, just that it's not about the message? Yeah. Because yeah. I've, I've, you, you, you don't follow, follow for example, <laughs> Buddhism, picture. you don't follow other religions, you don't follow Christianity, for example. But if Chris, so every book has its own philosophy. Yeah. But, but you have to so you have to picture. then, yes, what yeah. is the big, so what is the big picture for you? On, on, so on so for me, all stuff? these religions are all the same, yes. they all carry the same message. Okay. Yeah. A few differences here and there. Okay. But, the crux of it okay. is awareness of But then if you, be God, if you believe in an afterlife and, and hellfire, that's it, that's the crux of it all. but then if you believe in a hellfire, yeah. but if you believe in a hellfire and an afterlife, on the day of judgment, that excuse is not going to work with God. He's going to say you had to follow the truth. How did you establish the truth? You, you can't say all religions are the same, because if you believe in the one God, then he's got a one way, no, not right, right. through Christian. If, if you're sincere in your... I hear what you're saying, but a lot of people think, you know, like for God, there's only one way or a highway to meet God. I think it's a bit more flexible than that. So what? You know, provided people with different cultures, you know, different backgrounds, choose to, you know, reach God differently, I can't think he's too bothered but, about that. But then, it's just the but, fact that people are trying to connect sorry. to him. But whether, then, whether it's going to temple, to a church, to a mosque, do you know what I mean? They're all trying to connect him in one way or another. But then, I'm if saying, you follow Islam, but then people look at the little differences between yeah. different religions here and there to, to find. But but then, if you look at Islam and you believe that Islam is the truth, Allah says He will send polytheists to hell. So you can't tell the polytheist you're going to heaven because that contradicts your Quran. So not every route will lead to heaven. Because if, if you if your if your criteria is the Quran, then yeah. you have to go by what's in the Quran. Yeah. You can't then uh, emphasize a worldview on something that says a worldview is not accepted. Yeah. So then that's why then we have, if this is your criteria, then we have to then uh, look in detail yeah. how do we establish this book is the truth because this book contradicts the, the Bible. But if you believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, yeah. we need to know which book is the truth. Yeah, but I think, I think he's left some guidance over the years, it's been misinterpreted, it's been changed by languages, this and that, people put their own spin on it, Okay. you know, and it's up to us to decide yes. and, and work out, yes. you know, seek out the knowledge yes. and try and find so out the truth. how do you seek out the knowledge? You know, through reading, through your beliefs, you know, okay. like, but like I said, everyone's different, everyone's yeah. in a different learning. So group. how did you establish uh, Islam with the truth? So that for me, the way I saw it, I saw it as like it's the latest edition, the latest message you know okay. I mean? after the Old Testament and the New okay. Testament. You know? so then he revealed, the revelation was revealed by the Quran and that seems to be the last accepted revelation from God. Yeah. Okay, so, so it, it's the most current. Okay, so, you, so your basis was, so your basis is just it's up to date, you know, like when you, yeah, when, yeah. when you buy an iPhone, you're going to be using the latest software, you know, so it's compatible, yeah. so it's compatible, that's the way I see it. Makes sense. Okay, Makes sense. that's fine, but obviously, as a sincere Muslim, you'll believe in, like, Hellfire, so you believe this is the right... What do you mean by polytheist? It can be anything. Poly uh, no, no, you, yeah, you can mean, like, the unjust. Sometimes the polytheist, yeah. referred in the Quran, means the unjust. The guys living in Mecca, the guys who were... Um, how do you call it? Um, killing the Muslims, the unjust. So unjust is um, the mushrikeen in Arabic. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it doesn't really mean the people who are worshiping multiple gods right? or partners so apart from Allah. Associators. The unjust. Yes. These are the guys who are unjust. They're not following the justice, and they're worshiping money, for example, worshiping yeah. another man. Yeah. These are the polytheists. Okay. So the Muslim is the, the people who, are, who is 
submitting to Allah to one God. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't submit yeah. to money, it doesn't submit yes. to a man. But then you have to not submit to the uh, one God, but the true God. Now, because you said about the latest edition. So in the Bible, it says, it's Paul says, but it's even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we have preached to you, let them be under God's curse. So it's not about what what came less, uh, what came last. So you're basically saying, because you said he's the fi Jesus said, in the, said he's the final messenger. What will come after him is the Holy Spirit. No more messengers. So if Allah, uh, Jesus said that. Yeah. The so the only one to come after me, uh, after him, will be the Holy Spirit. To give was announced. To he was announced in the Bible. It's announced where? Where? Uh, the text, I'm not sure where, yeah. but it's, it's announced. I can, yeah, you can check on because the, no, the on Google. Muslims try and uh, John twist, twist this. Is it John? Yes, yes, yes. Let me, yeah, let me just read the. Have you read the Quran? Though? Have you read it? That's the point. I've read around it. Ah, there you go. Because you need to read the Quran. You know what? Okay, fine. You need fine, to be yeah. sincere in your reading. Even, you know what? Cause, look, I, I don't know really the Bible or what yeah. Jesus said. If he really said, you know, we weren't there. Do you know what I mean? We don't, we don't really know. We're just taking a uh, message and this is, what, this, is what, this is what we have to deal with. But you have to look at the bigger picture. The point is what the Quran said, it kind of confirms the Old Testament. Exactly. It confirms the New Testament. It's, it's more or less in line, bro. You know, the beginning of creation is more or less the same. The ending is more or less the same. You know, there's just a bit of a difference in the middle about Sorry? who's who and what's what. Yeah. You know? so, and I think that's normal and I think it's natural, do you know what I mean? But I don't think so, like, you know, like I know a lot of Christians, they, they completely disregard the Quran. You should you know, read, read you, Quran. Have, you have to look at things with an open mind. Have. Okay. Yeah. What so do you, think? you look at literal words here and there, bro. Don't make sense. You have to look at the big picture. Bro. It's contradicting the Bible. Lost. Looking at the small, finite details. Everything. We don't know. We don't do you guys know keep the Sabbath? Is. We weren't there. We weren't there. Do you keep you it? Do you keep it? Okay. So, so the, the Sabbath. So, yeah. so for Jewish, example, yeah, do you keep that day? Yeah. In in the Jews, the Quran contradicts so many. How come the message is the same? If uh, there's a difference. Uh, let me just find something. It's like. not a bad thing. No, no, but this is again, how do we establish true Because you said the same message, we need to establish but to me this is different from religion. So that's what I'm saying. One, one book says we don't need to keep it, the other one says keep it. So, yeah. It's important, not, it's very important because, I'll tell you why. Because, but it's very important because if you don't keep the Sabbath, you should be get killed, just torn to death, according to you. But that's what I'm saying, you can have so, religion, how can it get, and you can have truth. With that, that when you easy. stand in front of God, if the punishment for it religion is not going to help you. So, you can't stand. So if you want to have religion as a way of life, you to death, right? that's fine. Do you mind? Do you mind? Yeah, yeah, if you want religion as a way of life, that's fine. If you want to honor and worship the true creator, then you need the truth. There's a distinction. So, saying, you know, this philosophy suits me, blah, blah, blah. If that's what your prerogative you is, that? that's fair enough, but it won't day. ensure you guarantee you Happy birthday to me! Yeah. 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 In the afterlife and in paradise, yeah. with the true God, yeah. then you need to find and establish okay, but what the truth. Say is, you have to look at so, yeah. yeah, so yeah. If, if one book says go left yeah. and one says go right, you have, you've got, you understand. Yeah. So you're saying... But then you have to look at the third book. You're, you're saying they both lead to the same path, but I'm saying they don't. There's three books, you know, so you have the Old Testament, yes. yeah, you've got the New Testament, yes. more or less, yes. and you've got the Quran as well, so you look at them in a whole. But then the Old Testament will speak about oneness, I mean, it will speak about one God fundamentally. Yes. So, I mean, it's like, but then it's you, a have basic, to, as you, a you have to understand what does that concept of one God mean? Because this is a kind of a yes. thing Muslims will use. Oh, yes. the Bible yes. says one God, one God, one God. But if you understand the Bible, the Bible the, Bible, the God of the Old Testament the is a God of Revelation. Says, it's like a need to know basis. And he so he so I, will ch like I challenge Muslims so and I say, go and find out yeah. the Jewish uh, understanding of heaven and hell. God, they do not believe in I hellfire God, and yeah. they do not believe in heaven so in the same way. Exactly. So when God said, I am one, there was more to it, but it hadn't been revealed to them. Because then we, because we even see in the Old Testament, for example, where there are verses that allude to a multiple personality in God. You understand? It wouldn't be in there if God didn't have, if there wasn't a trinity. When you ask a Jew about it, there are many passages they find difficult to uh, explain. So for example, even you believe in Jesus was the Messiah. I can, because in the Bible, God says, I revealed the end from the beginning. So any, and Jesus says, if you believe Moses, uh, you'll believe me because he wrote about me. 
then we need to go into the book of the Torah and then see where did uh, Moses write about Jesus. These are all prophecies. So as a Christian or even a Jew, I can, um, a Muslim, I'll show you some things that allude to what's in the book, in the, the life of Christ. And you'll be like, yeah, that's Muslim. Like, that's Jesus. Okay, fine. They read it with a different perspective because they reject him. Yeah. They don't see him in the verses. So for example, you know, like Muslims will try and say, oh, Muhammad's in that. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is yes. it wasn't revealed to them. Exactly. Just, so then. So because, you know, they, they weren't fed the full picture yet. Yes. So it was going to come released in stages. Exactly. And then Jesus came yes. and he revealed to them yes. a bit more yes. that, of what they didn't know before. Yes. It's exactly. fine. But then, but if you're using that logic. Yes. Yeah, so why isn't a Quran a continuation? Because it even comes to confirm yes. that you know that God is actually one. You know, so it's it's you know it's part three of yeah, the message. But he, he tells you to by your by your by your but logic, he tells you're you to saying deny he's come to reveal even more and to confirm. But he says he was crucified, but he was crucified not. Our Christian faith is based on the foundation that Jesus was crucified more so for our sins. Christian faith more so on the resurrection. Yeah, exactly. The, the crucifixion and resurrection. So now I can say to you, if we're looking at religion or in truth, give me the Islamic reason why Jesus didn't have a father and why he was without sin. Can you give me that, an explanation of that? What do you mean? Well, Your explanation. You know, like, what was the Islamic? What was Allah's reason for making for having Jesus not have a father yeah. or be without the only prophet without sin? If, if you don't know, that's why. Yeah, the thing is, I don't think explicitly says why he chose, but he, he, he describes yeah. the whole in the Quran. Is you know, there's, there's some, I'm not a scholar, but there's some yeah. verses where it describes. Yeah, I'm not sure how, yeah, how, yeah, how he was created. Yeah. He was a Virgin Mary. Yeah. And, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So it kind of confirms. Yes. You know, the Christian faith and the Christian belief. Okay. You know, that he didn't have a human father. Okay. So it confirms that, but it also confirms other things. So. Okay. But you say it confirms, but the Christian belief yeah. is based on Old Testament beliefs because yeah. basically. Jews used to go sacrifice animals yeah. the so temples. Why can you judge them? So their, the requirement, why you had something called the Day of Atonement. Why not? Yeah. And same. God instructs them to bring an un, uh, un, no, uh, an animal, two though. calves, uh, two goats okay. without blemish. Do you accept Because a blemish to God is, makes it unclean. So theologically, okay. Jesus so had to be without sin yeah. because the sin to God is a blemish on humans. So Jesus was, the, the crucifixion and the resurrection was a sacrifice yeah. because in the Old Testament yeah. right. the priest had to atone for all the sins of Israel that's, people yeah that's so smart, theologically the Quran doesn't even yeah, mention whether yeah, he was a yeah exactly but that's what I'm so saying when probably, we're, he probably confirms that in its silence yeah, yeah, yeah but, but this that, is the thing but the Quran yeah it doesn't contradict it but the Quran denies the crucifixion but in the Christianity Jesus had to die for all our sins yeah, yeah, in, in line with Old Testament theology I understand, yeah, he was without a father yeah. because he had a heavenly father. Yeah. It was to symbolize the people. He didn't have an earthly father. So, so, I, I, get so, the, I get the yeah. Christian belief. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Right? I get the Christian belief, yes. but at the same time, yes. yeah, after that, 600 years later, yes. another message was revealed okay. to kind of clarify okay. perhaps that confusion. I don't want to use that yeah, word. That's right. So now, so now it just comes so, to so, so this is why I asked reaffirm you, what the original message was but, and should have been. But this is why I asked you first, and we can go into that point, but this is why I asked you, what is the theological reason for this in Islam? people won't give you a reason the Christian can give you a theological reason and it makes sense so it's, 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 it's like this the reason for it, what? It, so he didn't have a heavenly father yeah. because he had a so he didn't have an earthly father yeah. because he had a heavenly father yeah. and he was the only prophet without sin yes. because to be a adequate a sacrifice in the vein of the Old Testament he had to be someone without blemish. That's why he's the only person, because in the Old Testament, God would only accept an animal sacrifice that did not have a blemish. So there's a theological reason behind it. But then, that's why I say, if we have religion or truth, the truth should explain everything. It's like, if I was in school and I plagiarized something from someone, my, if I don't want to get done for plagiarism, I'm going to have to admit things. So the teacher doesn't say, ah, you stole no, this I'm, from that. I'm, I'm, for example, like when you did maths, they'll say, let me see your explanation. Don't just put the answer, but they want to see that you understand why it got there. Is a human being. So it's like the Quran yes. is like the being? work that has all the gaps. So Jesus you shouldn't have gaps if it's the complete word of God. But why is it the corrupt, the corrupt word of God has so all the answers, all the theological answers? 
You understand? So then that's where we have to make our basis from. The book yes, that explains the truth. What? For example, Trinity. like Trinity. the Bible aligns Trinity. with many things historically. Whereas in the Quran, it doesn't align with things historically. Let me give you an example. Me no me really knows, wait, wait. let me give you an example. Really knows, yeah, wait. yeah, but let me give you an example. Mecca was supposed to have existed since the time of Adam. Archaeologically, you, you can go on Google and Google oldest cities in Saudi Arabia. Mecca will not come up. How can the... the, the where what the Kaaba was built by Adam. Yeah. So how can archaeologists say this is not even one of the oldest? Does that make sense to you? You know, you, you know, you know, but you know what does make sense? Okay. You, you're, you're basically going on of the fact that these archaeologists, yeah, yeah, are 100% correct. Yeah. I, we don't know. I mean, things can change. Facts can change over time. They might find new things. You see what I'm saying? Like, I think to me, this is like very small detail. Does it really matter if Mecca was the oldest city or not? You know, it doesn't in the grand scheme of things. You know, it's a small. No, because you know, it's a small fact. If, if you can't, because the thing is, in the fact. Bible, yeah. for example, Pontius Pilate is yeah. named in the Bible. In 1961, they found a plaque with his name on, on it, that confirmed the historicity of it. So when, that's why archaeologists say like the Bible, but that's what I'm saying. Some things you can prove, yes. still hard evidence, yes. Others you can't, because that's it's right. so old. Yeah, but that's fine, because... It's too old, bro. We yeah, that is, you know, it's yeah, you, you, over time. Yeah, you can't prove everything, but this is the point. If we look at it with reason, for example, if you read the book of um, the Art of War, Sun Tzu, he'll say, there's a saying, if your opposition strengthens his uh, van, his rear is weakened. If he strengthens his left, his right is weakened. If he strengthens everywhere, everywhere is weakened. What that is trying to say is that when you analyze something, everything has a strength and everything has a weakness. So for example, Muhammad came, his strength was that he had hindsight he can look at the bible or whatever and say ah this doesn't make sense let me then try and clarify it joseph smith did the same thing that's why you have the book of mormon the weakness that muhammad has is history is set in stone so you can make a million lies but when you go and research what happened in the past you can't change the past that's why i say to you the bible makes historical claims that many archaeologists have been able to verify. Not everything, yes, as you correctly said, yeah. certain things get lost through time. Yeah. Why is it zero, or close to zero percent, yeah. of the claims that yeah. Muhammad made before his time, nothing can be verified? Yeah. Yeah. That's like alarm bells ringing. For example, someone else was crucified apart from Jesus. Who was that? No one knows his name. It's very easy to say, oh, it was made to look like him, but it wasn't. Yeah. You understand oh, right, so but so then so imagine so if so imagine so if Muhammad said there was someone called John of Bethlehem yeah. and then find 10 years you know 50 yeah, years yeah, ago yeah. someone finds yeah. a book of John from yeah. Bethlehem saying no, look, look, I am like, sacrificing yeah, you I, understand I, I, I you I have totally, to yeah. apply it with logic yeah. look, I totally understand you know why it's a big difference you know yes. I mean? it's, it's a complete contradiction yes you know Christians believe that he was crucified the yes. God comes out and says yes. no it was another man I, I, I hear that now, now let me think but there's no way to prove yeah, one way or the other. Okay, but, you know what I mean? but then that's why when something press questions what's there originally, you have to question it. How do you question the truth? That's why I say you have to build a case. It's not just what's in the text, it's what's outside of the text. So, you know, the Quran is almost like Harry Potter. Yeah. I can I can go to I can go to King's Cross. Yeah. There is no station nine and a half. So, you, know, you understand? Hang on, but you just you just cut me off. The point okay, is so. whether he was crucified or not. Yeah. The end is the same. You know, and the Quran still says yes. you know that he got risen up. Yes, yeah, and the Christians believe the same thing. Yes, you know, that, you, that but, he was risen up. Yeah, but so, the crucifixion. It's where he ended. You know, the thing is, it's where he is now yes. and how he got there. Yes, and that's both aligned. And then so you have to consider but, that but as well. So. Yeah, but that's why I say you have to either believe so in whether religion, he, whether he was crucified or not. Yes, you know, symbolically, yes. it still means the same thing. But when, you know, but, uh, you know, it, it, you know, it, it kind of does because you know, Jesus, kind of does. Jesus oh, identifies oh. as God. So either you reject him as God or yeah. you accept him. The Quran rejects him as God. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. if you want religion or you want truth, because your eternity will depend on it. When you stand before God, you're going to have to account for everything. Did you fully research the claims that were made? So all the, you don't have to believe what I say, you, but you can go investigate. Because you, if you want religion, stick with Islam. If you want to find the truth, then investigate the claims I'm making, because it would make logical sense. Why is it a book that's fabricated has more... It's like if you go to court, you believe the person who's 
opinion, uh, whose saying, statement I'm, aligns I'm, with I'm, I'm what you can the, establish. I'm not saying the Bible was fabricated. I'm yes. just saying the way it was put together. Yes. You know, it was a few years later. You know, by by some of his disciples. You know, it's like a witness account yes. of what happened. Yes. You see what I mean? Yes. So within, you know, within that, you have to allow human error. You know, because okay. people perceive things differently. Okay. So, so, you, but, so you know, but then you, what you is your to, basis? You have for, to kind of account for that. Okay. And. You also have fabricators. You have the Book of Mormon. Joseph Smith. Yes, he said exactly. he saw an angel. Yeah, yeah. He had many wives. Yeah, he yeah. read the Bible yeah, again. Yeah, he saw why? Why, okay, why don't you then accept him as the newest, newest? Because you said the Quran was the newest. Okay. But if we're going by newest, yeah. then go and follow Joseph Smith. Yeah, but, yeah. but to debunk Joseph Smith. Because yeah, if you look at it as a whole, like I say, the, the whole message yes. is, is very similar. Yes. There are a few minor differences and areas, grey areas. A lot of great areas, great, no doubt. Very grave areas. Yeah, no doubt, but like yes. I say, I think the overall message is consistent. Okay. And it confirms a lot of things. And Judaism, you know, yes. uh, Christianity, Islam, even Hinduism are aligned. Do you know what I mean? On, on, on many things. Who? Hinduism as well, bro. You know, like you know, so they're kind of aligned on many things. Yes. Um, but like you know, there's a few, there's a few minor differences, bro. You just you got to take, you got to take a few things with a pinch of salt, bro. We will, we'll never really know the absolute scientific, historic, you know, answer. This but, is how we'll never then, really know. But that's the thing. You, you can waste your whole lifetime trying to find it, bro. You will never really find the proof. But that's why I say the truth. But that's, does, not, but that's not the point. But the, the point truth is, does not exist in a vacuum. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Yeah. If you want to follow religion yeah. that is not verifiable. <laughs> That's your prerogative. If you want to worship the true God, you have to investigate the claims. Because the truth should be always, the truth is always written in stone, history. You understand? So someone, so we obviously in the Bible has a concept of false prophets. A false prophet can sound like the, the greatest thing to you. You know, people get swayed by false prophets. So you have to say, am I following a false prophet or a true prophet? Because if you want the truth, then you have to then uh, scrutinize what the claims of this person not that it just sounds good because if you want to follow religion then follow by all means but that's what I'm saying down to you yeah, do you I'm at what I'm emphasis do you place on your salvation and your eternity do you place your eternity based on I like the sound of it or do you base it on I believe this is the rock solid truth because all things should be if it's true it should be able to stand like scrutiny but also if you want to look at history as well yes. the Jewish people um, you know, if they, if they were revealed the message first, yes. and then you know the Messiah, you know, comes yes. to reveal them another message. You know, he comes to them, and they, and they rejected him because they were kind of stuck in their ways and set in their ways and believed in their old scriptures and their old books. You know, that, that's exactly the same thing that Christians could be doing in regards to Islam. I mean, like, what's your answer to that? So uh, let me try and find the verse. So, for example, because no doubt, yeah. no doubt, yeah. the New Testament, so, sorry, no yeah. doubt, the New Testament must yeah. have yeah. some contradictions to the Old Testament. No, it's yeah. a it, it, can't, it can't all be the same. Okay. So now no I'm going to I'm going to read to you Acts 17. So, if you're applying, Acts, so I'm just Acts, applying your logic. No, of course, that's yeah. fine. So Acts 17, too, Paul says, now the Berean Jews were of more noble character than those in Thessal Thessalonica. For they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. So therefore, Paul is challenging them on what was in the scripture. Yeah. You understand? It wasn't that he was just saying something and saying, come up, he's verified everything. So it says clearly, he, you understand? So, well, I, I don't agree because there are in the New Testament and the Old Testament. Such as? Like, you know, so, yeah. old, so, so even the tone of the Old Testament is a lot stricter. Okay. You know, and, yes. You know, and the punishments are a lot more severe, yes. and you know, there's a lot of talk of war, and yes. you know, there's you know, there's an ugly side to life yeah. that but, kind of deals with. But in sin, but Jesus comes, yes. you know, with the brighter side of life, kind yes. of thing. So there's a lot of contradictions there. Okay. Um, and like I said, and um, you know, the Jews, the Jews had one message, a new message came to them, and they rejected it. And they've got their reasons why, and they yeah. don't even they don't but, even acknowledge but like, the, Jesus at all. But the first, they don't even recognise the, the, him like the you first know, as a character. The first apostles were Jews. The initial uh, Christians were Jews as well. Yeah, I know so that. it's not. I know. You, well, I'm you, talking about uh, practicing Jews. Yeah, but people can accept your. We're talking about the rabbin, rabbinical Jews. About the race. But yeah, the rabbinical Jews of today and whatnot. Yeah, but we have to remember the earliest Christians were Jews. So it was. Christianity was spreading through Jews. Right. And then, you understand? And then, but then they went along with the latest yes. update. The so latest they, message. So they but were some, but some you know Jews remained in their old ways. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's fine. But what I'm saying to you, when they came, 
everything was based on theological reasoning from the scripture. Muhammad has come and he's contradicted, or you know, some Muslims okay, oh, uh, you know, the Old Testament and New Testament has been corrupted. The only person that that argument would benefit is Satan. If God has given his word to people, why would God allow his word with his full knowledge to be corrupted? For example, God made a covenant with Israel. And every time they strayed, he sent a new he sent a new prophet. You understand? So if they were corrupting the the the, uh, the, the, the Torah, why would he allow that to happen but still send them prophets? Obviously, they would be going astray because the Torah was corrupted. It wouldn't make sense. Otherwise, you'll tell them, look, your book's corrupted. But there is no evidence of it. The only claim that that came from was Muhammad, six hundred years later, for you to to reject the original claim. Now, let me just, before you say it, I know, I'm just going on for a bit, but in the Bible, it says, uh, in Corinthians, it says, uh, we should know the strategies of Satan. Now, we have to say, what is the strategies of Satan? Because there's a saying, uh, the oldest oldest trick in the book. Do you know what the oldest trick in the Bible is? Uh, let me, let me all, all, all I want to say to you is, bro, yeah. you have to allow, you yes. have to, as a reasonable man, yes. you know, like, think clearly, yes. but I think clearly, the, the message of the Bible is yes. yeah, a witness statement account yes. by some of his closest friends and disciples, okay. and it was written in many, many different languages, bro. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And this is where you have to allow some margin for error. Okay. You know, and probably this is what, when they say it's been corrupted slightly, it's because okay. of Chinese whispers but what, but, over the years. But who's and, made that assertion? Someone who came 600 years later. Now, let me go back to the point about the oldest trick in the book. I'm going to read you from Genesis 3.1. It says, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, which was Eve, Did God really say you must not eat from the tree in the garden? So obviously, God, Adam heard from God, and the Satan is now casting doubt in her mind to say, Did God really say that? This is the same argumentation Muslims will use Oh, is the book corrupted? If the book's corrupted, bring me the evidence. Bring me an alternative script, manuscript, that outright contradicts the message. All it's based on is hearsay. You have to, because a liar cannot prove their case. But the, they're saying, okay, if this is the case, bring me the evidence. People have been asking for this evidence for thousands of years. No one's brought it. So you can either be a rational mind, because your God, God has given you logic, and say, hold on, if someone is making an accusation, they should bring the evidence. You can't work on hearsay or arguments from ignorance. You understand? Because at the end of the day, when you stand before God, you're going to account for this. You're going to say, oh, well, it was written by so-and-so, so I didn't believe it. We had this, the Berean uh, Jews, they searched the scripture and he proved it to them. Bro, listen, man, like, yeah. just, just film, film the boy if you don't mind. <laughs> no, no, you... Don't, yeah, we'll wrap up soon anyway. Yeah, I don't want to be on the clip. Yeah, we'll wrap up soon anyway. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you know, but I, I don't mind chatting off camera. It just makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I mean, you've been filmed for like 15 yeah, minutes anyway. I'm so. Uncomfortably, uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah I, well, but people have seen you, so it's not like yeah, but, people are, but, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? No, the thing is, like, yeah. you know, if you, are you going to put this out on YouTube? Yeah, but it's an honest debate. It's not. I'm not trying to twist your words or anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you're you're a very genuine guy. You can blur so my whatever. face, fine. You know, and I can keep talking comfortably, but I don't want to be seen because you know, look, I'm yeah. not a scholar. Yeah, no, know, no, that's you know, fine. I'm gonna take you know. No, but all it is is your 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 understanding. Yeah, that's why yeah. I've not tried to pin anything yeah. on you. I've yeah. said if you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not yeah. about me trying to twist your words or belittle you. I'm just yeah. saying these are things you should think about. Yeah. Like, if the truth is the truth, it should be able to be established from the script and also be acknowledged uh, outside of the script as well, do you know what I mean? So that's why I say you can either have religion or you can have truth, you know, and that's why I find it very strange that a lot of claims Muhammad made, for example, um, Jesus uh, blowing life into a bird, that was taken from a gospel that was written after, it's called the infancy of Thomas, that was after the gospels, maybe a cent two centuries, second century, so why is it we because now we have a lot of scholarship on the Quran yeah. and a lot of stories have been taken from like the Midrash or Gnostic Gospels so why is you know this truth yeah. been taking things that were written after the Bible was written it doesn't make sense it's only evidence of fraudulence you know but that's why you have to explain 
look at everything. Yeah, you, you, yeah. you, you kind of need to look at everything. You need to look at the big picture. There's a few details here and there that are yeah. completely consistent. Uh, yeah. But I don't think like the message uh, yeah. overall the Quran, yeah. I kind of get what you're trying to say. Yeah, it's been yeah. twisted because it hasn't confirmed literally the message of Christ. And yeah. that's dangerous. You yeah. know? That's like the devil doing his thing, yeah, yeah. trying to like, cause disruption. Okay, I get where you're going with that. Yeah. But you also need to, if the devil is trying to cause corruption and spin a tail yes. and spin, you know, spin some lies. Yes. You know, the message of the Quran also spreads a lot of good words, you know, like a good peace and okay. values and, you know. So does the Book of Mormon? Which, which are similar to Christianity and similar to, to Judaism. Why yeah. would he do that? Why would he not try and put the whole thing into disrepute? Because... And come out with such yani, a nice book. Okay. Yeah, and cool. Why but, would I do that? But, first of all, let me just say uh, two points. So, first of all, uh, like where, the, where so many people, yeah. you know, are, are Muslims but, but, and they're because, all trying to reach out to God in one because, way or, because, or another, because, and he's trying to lead people away from God. Yes, you know. But goodness, but what he's done is the Bible he's says. Led good, so many people to Yeah, God. but That's the Bible, the saying. Bible says, good deeds does not lead you to heaven. So the Satan can teach you good deeds, yeah. and it will still lead you to the wrong path yeah. because you have to submit to the will That's of God time. and understand what God wants of people. Yeah. That's what will lead you to heaven, not good yes. deeds. Yeah. God says your good deeds are like a filthy rag to Him. Yeah. They do not bring, make you righteous in front of Him. It's only by obeying His decree, you understand, doing what God establishes righteous, not what we think is righteous. So the sa Satan is very, a very, very smart person. Yeah. He knows how to deceive people. Yeah. Understand? So that's all I'm saying. It's like your philosophy is well. Why would Satan teach you something that is? What's your, what's your understanding of like, you know, the day of judgment? You know, in, in, in your opinion yeah. or in Christianity, how yeah. does a man get into heaven? Well, uh, a man gets into heaven. There's only one way. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. There's one way into heaven. Yes. I mean, pretty much in one terms part. of in terms of people who have received the gospel and heard it, you've either accepted it or rejected it. Yeah. You know, isn't and that, uh, because... Isn't that so narrow? There's only one way into heaven that's narrow. Well, the, uh, well, to get well, well the, the Bible says that the, the, the route to hell is very wide and the route to heaven is yeah. very slim. Yeah. Understand? That, that we did not make this earth, this is what God has ordained for us. So we can, I, I, it's like if we hear the gospel, we can either accept it or investigate it or reject it. Because for those who have heard and rejected it, then God will call you to account for, for that action. And you said, well, every, you, you understand. It just means it's an easier road to hell and a, and a more of a of course. journey to heaven. Of course. Because of all the, of you course. Know, all the when, sacrifices you've got to make. Of course. When, you, when you're in school, there's only one way. When you're in school, yeah. when you have to study hard, it's hard. Yeah. People who go out partying, they but fail their exams. There's different ways to study. Yeah. You know, but, so everyone but, studies different. But, but all I'm trying to say, yeah, yeah, unless yeah, you're. You know, you can still pass the yes, test. Yes. Yes. We're studying different. But there's very few exceptions of people who are intellectually uh, capable of like not revising. No, it's not that. Uh, no, it's, yes. No, it's, no, it's, it's not about uh, not revising. It's yes. About they just put the effort in. Yes. yes. Exactly. Do study. Effort is hard work. Cool. Yeah, so so just, so just to close on that point you said yeah but that again that's what I'm saying according to your but, but, according, but what you're saying goes against what your Quran says so no, I think no, no, Allah does not say for example, Alice says the, the sin that he hates is polytheism. So there's a criteria. Yeah, one God. Exactly. Yeah. But believe, believe in him. Yeah. But yeah. then not, but you not, not, not any other. But what about thing. what about post polytheistic religions that preach a good life? Will they go to heaven? According to the Quran. According to, uh, to the Quran, no. Exactly. Because, yeah, because of so there's criteria. Yeah, but why did? Yeah, you believe that there's one God and you yeah. live a good life and, that you, and follow, you know, and, and good values and good behaviors and have a good heart. And that yeah. you confess Muhammad is the final messenger, not just that there is one God. Yeah.
because when you say you're Shahada, yeah. you have to confirm Allah is God and Allah is his messenger. So, the last one. exactly. So, anyone who might believe in one God but doesn't confess Allah, Muhammad is the final messenger, but they're going straight to hell. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, no, but I, what I I'm showing answer. is that you, judgment. no. But all I'm saying is you had this but, wide criteria. But even the Quran limits the criteria. I kind of still believe. I kind of still believe that there is flexibility. There, you know? Well, you'd have to show me from your Quran because that's what you follow. No, it's just, it's, it's just like a personal it's, belief. Yeah, it's, it's just a personal belief. You know, I just. It, it but your be. personal belief cannot change God. You're trying to rationalize God. I'm trying to rationalize. I'm just trying to say like this. Many different ways, and I kind of get what you're saying to you. If you don't define, if somebody doesn't accept that Muhammad isn't the last message, they yeah. risk of going into heaven. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not coming on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but that's something that it's a question that you know, I do ask myself sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It could be a bit harsh. Yeah. So I mean, but it's not for me to say I'm, yeah. I'm not making the rules. Okay. But perhaps, perhaps the test is still on mankind yeah. to go out there and try and seek the truth, like you're saying. Yeah. And that's you all know? I'm asking yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you've accepted Islam, but then I would say. Yeah investigate the claims that I've made even just understand what the Bible is, is trying to convey to people and weigh that up against the Quran like that's a religion fair enough but I'm saying but you also know. have to look at who Muhammad was, you know, you, so, you know I, I wasn't there, I didn't see him, yeah. you know, none of us were here. Yeah. You, know, you hear like good historic claims about And you hear places that done. he went and killed many people. He so went where? into towns. How did Islam expand yeah. through the sword? Yeah. So, so How did it expand from Mecca? Was he there? He, he engaged in many wars. No, no, only two battles in okay. history where he was right. defending himself and his people and his land. Okay. And an army came. An army came. An army came, an army came in, to attack him. Can I wrap this up with yeah, you? Yeah, okay. I don't mind. That's fine. Yeah, because I'm not here every week, man. Okay. Me, what's and it's okay. been from paperboy. Paperboy, yeah. But yeah. the point is, he was only engaged in two battles, and then yeah. afterwards, people, a normal man, okay. then took his message okay. and went and engaged in battle and spread. Okay. You know, and you know, maybe political gain and stuff like that. No doubt, I'm not denying that. Yes. But Muhammad himself didn't. Muhammad himself is a good, peaceful man. Okay. You know. Oh, so right. you have to look at that into context. Okay. So even by saying he's the last no, person, no. yes. Well, I think you've got nothing to lose because he was. Yeah, no, no, like yeah. You know? but good men don't get you into heaven. But it's not that. But what we, he, what, and what he preached, yeah, yeah is, is more or less in line with what Jesus was preaching. More or less. You know, but however, the only difference is, you know, he was just preaching one of God. He was just confirming that. Yes. And I, you know, and that is a big difference in Christianity. Um, but you know, and you know, Muslims they respect Jesus very highly, but he's seen as a very holy man. There's no denying who he is, or, or his existence, or what he did for humanity. Do you know what I mean? Or his message. It's completely confirmed and certified in the Quran. You have to ask yourself that question: Why? Why would they do that? Okay. And just to, but, just but, just to close but, but, on this one, yeah, but, what, but why why would the Quran do that? Why would Muhammad come okay. and certify exactly what Jesus said? Uh, just well, just to close why on one thing, if last I can point, find it. Last point. Point. It's a good question, though, isn't it? Why would he do that? What's he got to gain? Uh, which I can't find. But if we... What's he got to gain if, by doing that? Yeah, but if, if, if we're here he, next he's week... He's telling everyone Jesus was a sick guy. Yeah, but if, if and we... Should listen to, and, and listen to what he said, and, listen, and he was repeating exactly what Jesus taught. But it was very different. But if we're here next week, we'll, we'll discuss it. Because it, there's a lot to go into, and I'll have to find you, like things to kind of yeah, give you, you, tell me, you tell me your reasoning behind that without, without looking into so articles and my reason like, behind what yeah, so why would Muhammad do that who was is, is, confirm who Jesus was why would you certify exactly who he was and confirm yes. this is the same guy yes. and these are all the good things that he said yeah. so in a summary let's and say honored he said he, he, said, and he gave him so much he, honour and respect he, he, and all Muslims that believe that and show Jesus so much honour and respect he didn't certify what he was because Jesus was God in the flesh he That's denied that. Yeah, so why would he do it? Why would he want to do that? Exactly. I still say he was and listen to his message. And but the only difference in overall he was being consistent yes. with the rest of his message. But and, and it was about one and again, God. so there what, were no other contradictions. So, okay, I can apply that message just to close. Why did um, Joseph Smith confirm the Old Testament and the New Testament, but then create his own religion, Mormonism? He, was he a good person? Did he in, uh, encourage people to do good things? Like people do this all around the world. You know, he confirmed Jesus as well. So your argumentation applies actually to Joseph Smith. But you would reject Joseph Smith. Yeah, but what evidence has he got? But I, that's when I said to you, it depends on what your criteria of evidence yeah, but is. He came with the Quran. I mean, he came. He came with the yes. book. He came with the scripture. Okay. Yeah. You know, this guy, Joseph, the Mormon guy, he did it. Okay. Well.
I mean, just to wrap up, because I would have to go into everything, but that was just a summary. But if you're here next week, then we can kind of go into things more in detail. Yeah, nice week. Yeah, you too. All right.